my hair combed all right? I look all right? Yes, looks oh. fine. Okay, I'm concerned about that. Ah, hi, Uncle Deke here. I want to tell you about my bonsai. This is a very popular plane. plane. They're back ordered. You can't get them anywhere. Uh, bought four of these, built them up, brought them down here to Mexico with me. And I turned this one into FPV. And I wanted to show you how I did that. And specifically, I've got some videos on me flying it already. But here's what I wanted to show you on how I made it FPV. Now, this is basically going to be a video on how to do it wrong the first time, so you know how to do it right the second time. Uh, explain I only had what I brought with me to use down here. There's no hobby shops, no hardware stores, no place to go get anything. So I only had what I brought with me. So, I was originally going to use a small video transmitter, 200 watt transmitter. And I was going to put it right here. However, going into the camera, two of the wires broke. No solder, no soldering gun, no place to get it. So, I had to uh, ditch that idea. Okay, that went by the wayside. I also had a brand new 600 watt uh, Fat Shark immersion uh, transmitter 5.8 and it was all it was brand new and I was ready to go had the new run cam uh, mini camera right here and I had all of the wires ready to hook that up no way to really hook it up so you'll see I got creative with uh, cable ties and all sorts of things. I've got the uh, Fed Shark block back here, the uh, noise canceling block. That hooks into my uh, balance lead. And then I got a JST that goes from the battery into my receiver. Now I want to start kind of back at the beginning. I had to use uh, a high tech receiver. I planned on using uh, something else, but the high tech wouldn't bind to what I had originally. So, what I was going to use was I bought four of these motors and four ESCs, basically, what it takes to make a mini quad fly. These are Emacs. 1806 2280 kV motors and these are Simon K flashed ESCs. The Simon K flashed ESC would not work with my high tech radio or uh, so it wouldn't bind to it. So I had to switch over and use just a simple 18 amp ESC which is overkill. I think these are like 11 or 12. And then for the battery, it's a uh, Nanotech uh, 850 uh, 3 cell. Fits right in the opening. Now, here was another problem. This plane comes virtually assembled. All you have to do is put on the wing tips. And I laminated uh, back to here. But from now on, I'm going to laminate the whole wing and wrap it around this part right here. I'll show you why in a minute. My first problem was they had a, um, a little piece of board down in here and the Velcro went around the board and the battery fastened it. First time it hit the ground the whole board fell out and the foam chunked out right here and came out. So I thought how am I going to hold that in? So I took the board out, tossed it, put the Velcro through the plane, through the foam and I uh, put some glue on this a little bit. Then I put up a, a tongue depressor on top of it. Now what I'm going to do in the next one I build is I'm going to do something like the tongue depressor, but I'm going to fasten it to the foam before I laminate it. And I'm going to take out that piece of wood to begin with because it didn't work. Okay. The other thing I did was I coated 
the wooden motor mount and medium CA, then I hot glued all the joints, double glued them. With the small ESC, it would have fit down in this slot right here, but it wouldn't work for me. Now the guys that are using the planes I made, they're using those with a different kind of radio and they're working fine. Um, the reason I would laminate this plane all the way back to here and ramp it over is because of this. Believe it or not, if this plane comes in nose first hard enough, then that propeller will flex and bite into that. Just like that. Did it on both sides. You can see it right, right here where it did it on this side. I think the lamination would help make that a little bit stronger. I put nine gram Metal Gear servos in, way bigger than they call for, and I made solid rods out of uh, piano wire, bim my own ends on it, much stronger, and you'll never, the, the weight of these Elevons will never break that metal geared servo, it just won't. It calls for five gram plastic servos. I wouldn't do that. You just make, have to make the hole a little bit bigger for the nine gram and put those in there. And when you get these motors, and I'll put the link on where I got them. When you get these motors, you get two right hand, two left hand. The right hand has a red nut on it. The left hand has a black nut. When you get the propellers, you get a package of two right and two left. So, and they're, they're cheap. So I brought several of these down. I got several colors, but I like the green ones because you can see the green ones in the air. So, for instance, this is the left-handed one here. And this is the right-handed one. So you just got to make sure that you point the propeller forward and have it in the right direction. So out of the bag you got two propellers for this motor and two propellers for the other motor. So it's pretty economical. I worried about, in the beginning, this little tiny motor. Look how small that little booger is. That is one small motor. My thumb's bigger than that thing. I thought, is that going to fly that? Well, i tell you what. Not only it flies it, it flies it fast. And then I put the uh, this FPV stuff on there, and I thought, man, that's going to be heavy because it does feel heavy. And you'll see in my video where I flew it for the first time, I thought, I don't know whether it's going to work. I didn't have to put any trim on it. It just took right off out of my hand. It flies fast. It flies really slow. And it's terrific. This thing will carry a lot of weight. This is way more weight than it needs to be on here, but it handles it well. So don't worry about the size of the motor. Don't worry about the size of the prop. These are five, uh, five four props, and that's all you need. They're cheap props. So here's my FPV setup. Watch my video. Been on a couple of weeks. Flies great. I highly recommend it. I'm going to build another one. There'll be a part two of this. I'm going to build another one when I get home, brand new one, and I'm going to make it a different, a little bit different way, and I'll show you step by step how I make it. I'm going to use this motor on it when I get home. So I'm going to use the same thing, different ESC, but I'll show you all the steps and how I did it, and we'll go fly it when we get back home. So, from Mexico. Uncle D, let's go flying. FPV Mexico style.